In this video, we are going to see how we can enter purchase return in Zuhu Books. So on uh, 22nd of January, the transaction says return 10 Karula windscreens to Mr. Matthew. That means we are returning the items back to our vendor at the rate of 400 per unit. Now we have already entered the purchase invoice earlier in this project. So let's go to the returns by just clicking on this top right in the quick create section. In purchases, we have this vendor credits option. You can also access it from here. Just go to the purchases module and click on vendor credits from here right at the bottom. So once we are in here, we see this screen where we can click on create vendor credits. Mr. Matthew, let's select Mr. Matthew. If you want to see the details of Mr. Matthew, you can click on the right corner where it will show you all the activities and details about it. Just close it. Let's enter any reference number here. Credit date is 22nd of January. Subject, we can just simply copy this narration, paste it here. And the item we are returning is Karula windscreen. Quantity is 10, rate is 400. This makes the total to 4000. Let's scroll down. You can enter the same narration in the notes as well. And click on save as open. Now the vendor credit is created, but let's say we want to deduct that amount from the overall purchase invoice balance. So let's say that we have purchased the items for $10,000 and out of which we have made 4,000 as a return. So we only have to pay the remaining amount. So if you want to adjust this credit in the bills, you can click on apply to bills here. But first of all, let's check the journal entry effect. Let's click on the three dots, click on view journal and it will take some time to process. Okay. Click on apply to bills and the bill amount total is 29,500 and it was recorded on 9th of January. Let's scroll up and this is the invoice from Mr. Matthew around 29,500 out of which we want to apply 4,000 as credit. Click save. And now the credit note will look like this, that the credit is used against the bill. So overall you see this entry where cost of goods sold is adjusted on both sides. So just ignore that accounts payable is debit because we need to pay 4,000 less. So we have reduced the liability as well by debiting it and inventory asset is credit. That means we have to return that item back. So it's gone from our inventory. Hence it is credit. So this is how we not only deal with the credit notes or purchase returns, we can also adjust it in the bills. Just try this by yourself and I'll see you in the next one.